Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I'm Peter Moxon, Keeper of the Archives, and last time we had a supply train mission, so uh, we got a good amount of stuff out of it. Still have effectively zero intel, or at least close enough, and still have no room for more contacts, but eh, we're trying. Okay, so for wounds, lightly wounded and normal wounded. That's our pistolier. That's our primary grenadier, okay. Right, I would like to get the Spark level 2 gear before I start fielding it, but given that Sparks level up like normal soldiers, I do actually kind of want to level up the Spark. Got a supply drop in 5 days, proving grounds available in 6 days. We have like 3 Illyrium cores or something like that, and I absolutely intend to use them there. Uh, clearing debris for the next room in 10 days, and tech Illyrium done in 11 days. Because, yep, that takes a while. Uh, GTS, what do you got? Ooh. Oh, biggest booms I thought was going to be more, uh, area. Explosives can crit. Not bad. Uh, so this is specialist, plus aim, and the ability to critically hit when taking overwatch and reaction shots. Okay, I'll be honest. Our combat specialist with kill zone. This seems godly. I will keep that in mind. Sharpshooter, plus 10, plus 10 bonus chance to uh, quickly hit enemies. By the way, I think that these might be uh, class specific. I'm really not sure. Because if this is like explosives can crit for literally everyone in the entire squad. Obviously, Grenadiers get the most benefit, but that's still not nothing for everyone else. Ranger, Hunter's Instinct. Attacks against flight enemies deal plus 3 damage. Sword attacks have, have a bonus 15% chance to crit. Nice. Stay with me. Soldiers more likely to bleed out than die. Integrated warfare. PCS is better. Vengeance. If a squad mate dies or is critically wounded, gain random tactical bonuses for two turns. Uh, lightning strike. Plus 3 mobility for the first two rounds of combat or the first two turns of battle. Blech. And vulture. More items. Okay, I can currently get two of these if I don't get any other supplies. They're also instant, though, so I don't need to get them right now. This is the advanced warfare. Let's go ahead. Ah, retrain abilities. Whoops. Uh, GTS. Not combat tactics. There we go. Open soldier available. Let's go ahead and train up a second ranger. Just that we have our rookies being trained up passively since it doesn't cost anything. Oh, upgrade was available, actually. Yeah, down here. 100 supplies, and yeah, it adds another workbench, making it so you can staff a second engineer, which means that instead of two gremlins, you can get four gremlins. Yeah. Not bad, but given our current supplies, not really a high priority. So we cleared out the black site. Scientist, neat. Ah, hi there, Fire Axis. Ha uh, ha ha. In case you don't know, the, I think, publishers of this game are, uh, they are the company Firaxis. Jumping in here for just a moment to correct my past self, Firaxis are the developers of XCOM, not the publishers. 2K is the publisher. Anyway, back to the episode. We can get supplies here, so let's go for that since, uh, getting some more supplies is really good at the moment. If we can get a source of intel, that'd also be really nice. And supply drop basically right after. So we're totally going to get a mission before we finish scanning for all of our supplies. After a project. Commander, if we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Scientist wouldn't be the worst, honestly. We have that build. Make contact is probably 32. How did we get 12 intel there? Do we just get intel whenever we scan one of these things? Oh, we actually literally can't make contact because we don't have the uh, facilities for it. I thought you could at least, like, do the scan to unlock it and just couldn't go there or something. It does only cost 30 intel, though. Okay. In that case, we know that power goes... Yeah, we know that power goes... There, because that'll make the uh, that'll allow us to do the Illyrium. This is probably where comms goes, so it's six days until that. 
we have anyone open? No. Go on, let me out. There we go. We cannot yet build the Illyrium. I think that it upgrades from power, though. That's only power conduit. I think that shielded power coil upgrades to Illyrium as well. So let's go ahead and just do this now so that we know that that's there. Keep that on six so we can build a resistance comm there pretty soon. Likely a workshop here to mirror this so we can get four gremlins that it's one for the proven ground to reduce the time on that, one to the relay so we can increase power output there, then two down to here, which might also be resistance comm. It's kind of hard to say at the moment. And what else? And yeah, we need to excavate first, but do we have any rooms available? No. Okay, just gotta wait on that then. Not gonna lie, uh, I, I don't love how this is going at the moment, but I also know that even if the Avatar project goes to full progress, it then gives you a final countdown that is a pretty generous timeline. Uh, hold on. Oh, right, okay. Right, because Supply Drop hasn't procced yet. Avenger plotting so a little course. bit of research, or a little bit of scanning for the scientist, because because uh, an extra scientist is still pretty good at this point. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Oh, Lost Towers gets included here. Nice. We have a lieutenant, not bad, and a scientist, okay. And 214 on monthly. New facility in one week, next retaliation in two weeks. A UFO hunts the Avenger, which... <laughs> I think that actually does have a special mission associated with it. And uh, reducing retaliation by two weeks, so that would be a pretty much immediate retaliation if that ever procs. And hidden event for 20 intel, which I'm not spending that intel right now. Investigate that. Yes. Avenger plotting new course. Because having the money to build these facilities as quickly as possible would be real nice. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay. So you can go from South Africa, which we have, to New Chile. Chile. And also, like, Okay, fine. To uh, New Australia. That gets us a facility. And we currently have access to this facility as well. Okay. It's not as bad as it seems, I think. Ah, it's an actual mission. Okay. Okay. Neutralized target. 175 supplies. 102 intel. I seriously think the game is actually throwing me a bone there with giving me that many supplies and intel just all at once. Because clearly we need the supplies to build the relays and the intel in order to get communications up. Setting course for the East African sector. There. Okay, we still got apparently a day or two left. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh god, XCOM 2, you do not like what I did. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> so we have two colonels. Everyone else is still training up, though. We don't have a secondary ranger, actually. Then again, we don't have a secondary uh, dedicated sniper, either. I guess just take the main squad out and keep trying to get for the full colonels. And combat specialist, yep. And you have kill zone. So weapon upgrade. Yeah, you have clip size and instant kills. Right. Yep, kill zone. So I want her on point as much as possible. Proving ground is not up yet, so I can't get the ammo stuff to give to them. Or whatever other items might be applicable. And I have no other items. Yeah, I made a flashbang. The weapons and armor are automatic. Oh. I just realized that you gave him a shirt. How dare you? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, you. Remembered this time. Loadout. Take you off of Shadowkeeper. 
put you on Mag Pistol. It's just straight up more damage. 3 to 4 versus 2 to 3 with crit and aim. That little bit of extra damage with how much a Pistolier shoots does add up. I think that's about all we can do. Let's check the uh, hack score on our two specialists. 75 for our primary hacker, our medic. And 65 on our combat hacker. Okay, I think that's about all we got, so let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. For some time now, the Resistance has been tracking a VIP known for working with the aliens. And they finally narrowed the target to a quadrant in this area. They've asked us to move in and deal with this person once and for all. As always, we'll need to eliminate any hostile forces protecting the package to secure the area. Capture the target if possible. Use force if necessary. <laughs> Noted. Also, I didn't realize that Overwatches on Ambush actually don't have an aim penalty. I wonder if they seem to work better. Anyway, starting up Operation Bloodfire. Target is or target of the mission is to neutralize the target of the mission. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Boop, boop. Menace one five. Target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. So it's like Operation Gatecrasher, only it's not the commander, it's some asshole. Okay, so that's full. I'm trying to go over here. Probably getting the sniper up on this level would be good, because then we don't really have her... Her? I think her. Hold on. I want to make sure I get this right. Anna. There we go. Okay, because uh, that means we don't have her for the extraction part, but it makes it so we do have her for, with good vision for the end bit. So we can clear out the escape route before getting the uh, VIP, basically. Start with you. Try moving up to here, because it's half cover, but a little bit further. Head into that location. Okay, we got a hack. What's the hack got? Supplies and large supplies. Okay. I'll probably see if I can get that at some point, but it's not a priority now. Since that didn't reveal anything, let's go ahead. There's a pipe there, so realistically we'll probably go along this line. And then in through here. Can't really see what's going on in this area, obviously. Yeah, for now, just go here. Obviously not the safest move, but since we have concealment and this move didn't get anything, I fear that's probably safe. Oh, front doors. A quaint. Roger that. Go ahead and move you here, just so we have as much vision as possible. Stepping off. Oh, that gets something because I can't uh, get off that. Hostiles making the rounds. Okay, muton and stun lancer, and a pigeon. Put you here to see her in half cover and against the enemy the enemy uh, pod. On it. Scanning. Hi there. I forgot about the part where you can move. We've been spotted. Ah. Huh. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna try to not. Hi, Overwatch. I'm gonna try to not restart here. Cover the flanks. Oh, without the armor, that would have been a kill. I think. I think they have. I think they have eight health. Yeah. I forgot we have a Reaper. <laughs> it's not actually super useful at this moment, but it is fun. 
You can see both of them, so go ahead, face off. Start with you, I guess. Feel the Muton. Missed the Stun Lancer. Happy now? I gotta remember to, um, uh, Lightning Hands first. I'm you, but better. Okay, how many people did I just reveal? Kill confirmed. None. That is more surprising to me than anything else. Hack is still over there, so start by reloading. Ready to go. Cannot go up. Sniper cannot make it up there on blue, so half cover on yellow works. There's a lot more map that way than I thought there was. Okay, so the question at this point is, what direction do we think enemies are more likely to be in? I'm going to suspect there's one squad in this kind of area, even though they aren't literally right here. Because that's just a lot of area for there to be zero enemies. There is a door right there, so this is actually a fairly easy mission to get through. So I, I feel like there's definitely enemies over in here then. So actually a sniper along this wall wouldn't be good because the uh, the line of sight goes below the floor, so you can't do it. Up to here, though. Ooh, now that's interesting. Okay, this could backfire on me because early vision with the sniper could fuck it over for everyone else. But I really like having the sniper just go up and sit in this corner for a bit. Also, I just realized as I did that, wait a minute, what if there's an enemy up here? Like, it, unlikely to be a pod, but maybe a turret or something. Now let's go here, because double, double full cover with good elevation, looking into where we're about to go. You can get full cover there. Okay, let's move everyone. Let's basically move everyone to this upper level so we have elevation. Then we'll decide what to do with that next turn. Seems doable. There we go. Oh, Pistol Lear already did something right. I'm on it. And then hack. Infiltrating access point. So small or large cache of supplies. Given that she still doesn't have a great tech score here, let's just go for a small uh, cache and kind of assume we're about to get an enemy uh, pod. Hey, yes, just barely. Good. And her hack should now be 70, I think. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that uh, neat little detail. Here, it's essentially a wanted poster, but it's like, it, it's our actual dudes. It's him. Okay, let's put you on this corner and pray to God this doesn't utterly screw me over. Move, move, move. Um, I saw those health bars. They're probably down in this room then, because we had vision through there. Or they're out here, which is more likely, honestly. Okay, sniper is in a very advantageous position for the wrong side of the map, basically. Okay, start by blue moving here. No enemies. All cover here. Okay. Let's have Pistolier be on ground floor with you as well, just because he has a lot of uh, different things he can do from various ranges. And you are going to kind of track from the outside as much as possible. And you as kind of the companion. Uh, we have one specialist here, one specialist there. One of them goes on the ground floor, one of them tracks from above, I'd say. Moving to position. We have a limited number of turns. I, turns, I just remembered that. You know, in that case... Uh, Okay, that's who we still got. We can go through here, so let's go ahead and set up here as much as possible. I'm going. 
Good. And then you where the uh, Grandier was. Overwatch. Not fucked, yay! This is probably going to reveal something, but also we have a Grenadier and we have the uh, the Ranger. So I think we're okay. Heading out. Target VIP Target secured. Target identity confirmed. Menace 1-5. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. Thank God they don't fight back, if I remember correctly. Put you over here, just that you're in the corner. Alright, I'll go. You the other corner. Moving. I'm just assuming that if there are any enemies right here, they're over in this room, and I just haven't seen them yet. Uh, actually, with that kind of vision, they probably aren't here, so that means that the health bars we saw were probably out here. I can handle that. You're, you're not likely to be super useful, but eh, I think I can move you here. We've got Advent here. Hi. Um. I have a total of three people. That feels like a reset to me. I'll play it out for like a turn though. For every kill you make, does a normal shot get the kill? On you, yes. On you, possibly. Or on you, yes, yeah, six to eight. On you, possibly. And those are the only two we can see. I think it's worth in this scenario, though. Specifically because we don't have a lot of other actions to use. You can't handle me. Refund. Technically refunds, but not particularly worth anything this time. go here and then get a pistol shot off slash a grenade I think that's worth let's do this obviously moving the sniper isn't great but I, I kind of need to do I kind of need to deal with what I got cannot hit with grenade so just go for the flanked uh 40% crit with the pistol okay three damage You're on yellow? Yes. What about lightning hands? Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay, I can go for the 65% chance. Is that worth anything, though? Go for the full Don't cover against the captain here. I say we just try to weather a shot from the captain because there are two other there are two other targets that are totally flanked. So having a third one isn't going to make that much of a difference. Actually, a grenade, if as long as we get rid of the cover, might force the captain to reposition more. Because as is, the captain could just kind of like mark and take a shot or something. If the captain has no cover, then he I'm going to go with is more likely to move first. Move then shoot still has some issues, but at least it makes it so that it's not mark and shoot. Take this. No cover. Good. I'm on it. Oh, it's really helping. Oh, uh. Eh. Crit for nine. Ooh. Minus one five. Be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Okay, you could have overwatched if you had vision, but yeah, that's just a solid wall, okay. I'm gonna do this. Could be dumb. No problem, boss. Advanced stock and agility PCS, okay. I've got it. Oh, I forgot to get the uh, upgrade for more items before I got into the mission. Whoops. Fuck you. I couldn't even see you, and you had a wall, and I still shot you. 
reload. We're green to go. Uh, can't get back up because I jumped down without a ladder, so just back up to here. Here I come. Honestly, more on the level with the specialist might be a good idea. Whatever. Over here. Knock out. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. What was that scream? That sounded like a that found that sounded like a face hugger from Half Life, not a person. All right, we're on the uh, Ranger. I, I was trying to figure out why we couldn't just pick the person up. Affirmative. Come on, open the door. I promise you it's possible. Game. You're giving me the option to open the door here. Six. Yes. Six. Nope. 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 Enter. Space bar. Like, I can just go around. I know. That's just really weird that that's uh, glitching out a bit. They can't move. Hold on. Load. Load. Go. Oh, shut up. That probably that should have re-randomized uh, this, this shot, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Okay, one last damage, still kill. How many is that now? Open door. Thank you. Does that mean that this one's bad? Nope. Okay, good. Okay, we're just gonna have you move to over here then. And knock you the hell out. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Still agility? Yep, okay. So those are probably um decided when they this? drop. On the move. Got it, moving. I'd say the Pistolier is the one who's oh, yeah. least likely to need to use his gun mu much in the next few, few turns. Uh, you. Got it covered. Move back to here. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Cool. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. I can handle Got that. Cover there. I saw those vipers. I know they're right there. Got it covered. I have to cover oh, no. there, just that you at least have uh you're in the right area. Door should not reveal okay, good. You know what? I think this does work actually. Fucking specialist kill zone. Blocking him out. What's over there? Scanning. Let's see. If there are vipers here, does this reveal? This shouldn't actually, so let's go here. And you. Moving to Overwatch. You to here mostly so you can run out and get kills as necessary. Reaper might be useful here. Heading there now. Ah, uh, I forgot how low your health was. Whoops. Overwatch. I've got eyes on Advent Troop. Hello, friends. May I introduce you to the, to the concept of a circle? Oh, Captain's dead. 
Stun Lancer's dead. Oh, he ran up. Good for you. Oh, thank you. I was hoping that was going to happen. Oh, thank you for entering Kill Zone. That was very helpful. I think that, that might be her gun dry now. Hardly did anything. First of all. Oh, no, you still have two rounds left. Okay, so the first one is guaranteed to hit. Currently, these are the only two you can see, which is unfortunate, but eh, whatever. Looper. Slash. You. It's down. Slash. You. Wait, this should do five, shouldn't it? Oh, damn it. Oh, cool. Damage range. Okay, I could go for this one and get a kill. Or I could go for this one and get damage. You still have actions. You can still slash. I think we can move off of you then. But we reload here. Locked and loaded. Try to hit this. That's why I checked that first. Enemy is still up. Go for a standard shot here. Uh, wait, no. That's the one that's easy to kill. In fact, we can guarantee it with uh, combat protocol. Yeah. Okay, since we can guarantee the kill there, let's go ahead and just go for damage on this one. Okay, two damage needed there. Why can't you shoot? I guess you can. Okay, so you reload. It's killing time. Forty-four percent there. We fire with the pistol. It is seventy-three. I say we blue move to, to full cover here. Get the flanking pistol and see what the uh, percentage Let's do is. Hundred percent. With the pistol. You want some more? Combat protocol. There you go. Oh, my first effective use of combat protocol. Okay, just those two. Blue move to half cover a little bit further up. Just kind of to clear the way. I'm going. On overwatch. Reload. Go ahead and reload good because enough. you having a lot of ammo is good, actually. It's killing time. Everyone else, I'd say, is good. Okay, with a blue move, or like with a two-action move, you can probably get to ex to extract, or at least very close. No problem, boss. Let's go ahead some get some. and get everyone a lot closer. Position. You know what, sure. No problem, Try to get boss. everyone in kind of the same line here, if possible. And we'll have like two or three overwatches as we can uh, afford. Alright, I'll go. Affirmative. Cover can you get to extract? Yes, you can. Right on that corner, so try not to occupy that space. Got it. Good to go. Move, move, move. You to there. No need to ask twice. I'm all over it. You to there. And you to there. Okay, we took... God damn it, I just remembered the VIP. Four turns. 
Oh dear god, really? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that is me being a complete dumbass. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to go back a turn or two when we had finished the combat, but I hadn't moved yet. Okay, back one more. I think it should be this one. Okay, five. That should be good. All enemies dead. You're still here. Good. On your order. That. Pick him up. Target VIP secured. Then head out this way. Here I come. And everything else we already know Nine. works. All right, I'll go. Will do. <laughs> Oh, Covering now. No and problem, there. Boss. And there. All oh, right, reload. Ready to go. Can you make it? Yes, you can. On the same square as the uh, sniper. Got Whoops. It. Since we know there are no enemies active, let's just go ahead and move. No need to ask twice. You there. You there. You there. Oop. Location confirmed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You ex VIP extract, evac, whatever. Everyone else just stay here for a moment, set the sniper. Yeah. VIP there are literally no other enemies. Just go ahead. I'm gone. Going. Ready to boogie. Just in time. I swear to God, there are reinforcements now. Five hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Good to know. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Ah, one unfortunate uh, pod reveal away from a perfect rating. Oh well. Successful shots, two-thirds, damage per attack, five and a bit. Enemies code per turn, something, cover bonus, something. Dealt most, dan dealt most damage, Anna, made most attacks, Anna, most under fire, Alice, moved furthest, Alice. So Anna's the sniper, Alice is the ranger. Yeah, it tracks then. Oh, you only get the loot if you don't evac, okay. expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. The fact that it's gravely wounded nine days is real nice. Okay, Major to Colonel then, and Lieutenant to Captain. Do you get Threat Assessment or Covering Fire? Threat Assessment, Aid Protocol now grants the target a Covering Fire Overwatch shot, but the Aid Protocol cooldown is increased by one turn. That's the one that I said before could probably combo really well, because like, well, now that we have max level units, you can have a ranger doing all their reaper and everything and ending their turn, then give them aid protocol so that they can't be hit even more, but then they also have an overwatch on top of everything else. Which for a uh, for our particular ranger, that's not that's not amazing because like they have blade storm, so they basically have infinite overwatches anyway. But it's the overall idea of it. And then covering fire, uh, overwatch triggers on anything. I'm actually really curious if that works with Killzone, by the way. I'm, I'm actually going to go Covering Fire here, because I think that is pretty good. Like, obviously I've been trying to build along archetypes, but I think that Covering Fire is just what I'm more likely to make good use of. I don't use Aid Protocol enough, I think. And Max Level Medic, what do you get? Restoration or Capacitor Discharge? Wait, Shen had a Capacitor Discharge, and she was a Captain. Whatever she's Shen. 
So capacitor discharge, the one that we are not taking. Send the gremlin to a location where it emits a substantial electrical discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage. So the stun is to all units, or the possibility of a stun, is to all units, not just robotic ones. And restoration, the gremlin, the gremlin flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. Just literally full squad heal. And yeah, given that he's our medic, sure. Capacitor Discharge is real good, though. And that's all we have there, so cool. Advanced Stock, PCS Jody, which is 12 Dodge, and 35 Supplies. And an enemy VIP for whatever that gets us. Also, I called uh, the VIP he before because I didn't see the model up close. I'll see she then. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. And of course, the 175 supplies and 102 intel. Okay. That'll do it for the mission, and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful menu for day, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we will probably get the Proving Ground up and going, and I... If all goes well, I might be able to show you some of the cool stuff you can do with Proving Ground. Like advance the damn plot. Know people are getting those damn advent burgers. But if I find another rapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. See you in the next one. Bye.